hey guys and welcome back to another video of spark plug so in this video tutorial we are going to do the fusion 360 monthly challenge of august so here's the image that they have uploaded on the internet tomorrow uh, yesterday sorry yesterday uh, it's a basically a pipe flange so we are going to make this so let's see uh, how to make this so we will start by making this base flange and then we will make the uh, upper flange and they will then we will make a sweep or a loft between them to complete the assembly so as you can see that the diameter of the base flange is 108 i think it's mm so let's consider all mm our dimension is nmm mm and this uh, comma is there it's donates the point 108.00 so as you can see that there's a arrow and this don't indicate that the outer diameter of the flange is 108. The inner diameter of the flange is given on top side. It's the 50, approximately half of it. And the third one is the diameter of this uh, this imaginary circle on which these holes the holes are made. So it's the diameter is 88. So we have to create three circles: one of 108, one of 88, and one of 50. So let's get started. So start by making a three circle on the base plane. Uh, draw three circle, just like this. Go to smart dimension. Uh, make the smallest circle as 50. The middle circle as 88, and the outer circle as 108. And just press OK. Now. Uh, uh, we, we need to create these eight holes and the diameter of these holes is 6.66 mm by uh, 8x to 8 that it's there are, are eight holes so draw a hole on this imaginary circle or the middle circle we have just drawn so draw a circle at this point and the diameter will be 6.66 mm and just press ok now let me just slide down this dimension now we have to make the circular pattern of this so that it may get multiplied by to eight entities so choose the object the center point will be the origin and the quantity will be eight after that just press ok then we have to extrude it and the extruded distance is given here it's 11.50 mm the thickness of the flange is 11.50 so just click on extrude select this space and this space not the holes and extrude it to a distance of 11.5 and you can just let it be for a, now let it the operation should be new body now the next step is just click on oh let me just claim this so we have to uh, create the another flange and it's a per, at particular angle the angle between the base flange and the top flange is 45 degrees and, and they meet uh, at an arc of 108 mm radius so what we have to do we have to create uh, another plane at an angle of 45 degrees and a radius of uh, on a arc of radius 108 so for that what you have to do is click on hmm, sketch click on front plane and from this point just from this point draw a line of 108 the the radius the radius that is given 108 and then from there uh, from this point draw a line uh, just like this uh, without any particular dimension let me just slide down this and the angle between the vertical and the horizontal this angle angle line will be 45 degrees and just press ok now what we have to do is create a sketch, go to create a sketch, go to R, go to center point R, choose this as center and just start from here and draw a arc all the way to join this point to the this point. Now we have created the path of our uh, flange. Now just press T for trim, just trim these because we don't need this now. So yeah. When done, just click on stop sketch. What we have to do is we have to create a plane on this profile so that we can just make this flange on that side also. So go to construct, go to plane along path, click on this line and just swipe the all the way to the starting. The distance will be zero and press OK. Now we have created a path. 
we have to repeat the same step that we have used on drawing the first plan on this also just click on this uh, and click on click a sketch if you find any difficulty you can just hide the first body that we have just created so again repeat that all process draw three circles the dimension will be same the smallest one will be of 50 the middle one will be of 88 and the outermost circle will be of 108 mm let me just confirm the outer circle yeah now it's 108 mm and then we have to create uh, eight more circles on the middle imaginary line of 6.66 diameter and press ok click on sketch click uh, go to circular pattern click on this entity choose this as center point quantity would be 8 and press ok now again just bring back the first body now we have created the profile what we have to do is we have to create a uh, extrude so just again click on this this and extrude it backward uh, again the distance will be 11.5 just like earlier and press ok now 90% uh, of work has been completed now we have to just hide this sketch uh, I think we are going to need this case so just to remain it visible so what we have to do is we have to create a sweep along this line that we have just created so for that we, uh, the thickness here the thickness of the flange at the center point of the pipe is given as 11.5 so that means the distance between this the inner circle and the circle drawn from the outside of the flange is 11.5 so what we have to do is we have to create another circle on this face and on this face so let's just hide the body too for now click on this face and click, click create a sketch draw a circle uh, of any dimension and just click on the inner circle and click on the circle we have just drawn and describe the thickness as 11.5 and press ok click on stop sketch bring back the body number 2 and hide the body number one and do the same on this face also from origin draw a circle of any dimension make uh, the thickness the distance between both the circle the inner one and this we have just drawn is 11.5 and press ok yeah and just bring back the body number one so once done once our profile is created only thing left is to do a sweep or a loft yeah a loft would be better so click on loft click on this profile and click on this profile then it will ask you about the uh, the rails so choose the guide rail as the center line and the rail will be the middle line the arc you have drawn just click click on join operation and click on this now you can see that both the all the bodies has been joined you can just right click on this and click on create components so we have a component here but the only thing left is to do uh, is to make a hole here so for that the easiest one you can just sweep this on that path or the easiest one is go to modify command and create shell create shell choose, choose this face and this face and uh, the direction would be inside and the thickness will be 11.5 and just wait my system is just a little bit slow and just press ok let's wait for yeah so you can see the hole is created and we have just completed the august challenge of the month of fusion 360 so you guys can give it any appearance uh, uh, in this picture they have shown the cross section view of the this diagram so hope you guys will enjoy the video Please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos. Thank you and have a nice day.